Hey guys, <clears throat> this is going to be a video for making the phases of the moon uh, foldable. Uh, I'm doing this video for anybody that was not able to be in class while we did it together, or anyone that just wants to review uh, that they got it right, or even just for the parents so that they get to an idea of um, how their kids did this. So we're going to start by, um, you can find this... Uh, on your angel site, you're going to have this uh, worksheet is going to be available to you. I also sent it home on the email to everybody so that um, you can actually uh, print it out and do it yourself if you need to. We're going to start by folding the bottom and the top to the middle line so that we have the moons on the outside and then our little graph on the inside. Okay, so there we go. Now we can open it up, and we've got those folds there. We're going to make little flaps so that we can open and shut each of the moons. So we need to cut each of these lines up to the fold that we just made. Okay, there we go. Now we start putting on our moons. Um, we're going to start with new moon. That's what I asked the kids. What's the first phase of the moon? And that's uh, the name of it actually comes from that. It's a new moon because the moon is starting with 0% of it being light. Um, as I told the students while we did this in class, we always name the moons based on the amount of light that is on the moon that we see. So we'll start with... New moon, okay, with our regular colored pencil. We're also going to be using uh, a light colored pencil. For me, it's going to be pink. And then a dark colored pencil, which for me is blue. So looking at this earth and sun model, we have the moon going around here. And we need to figure out which one of these, if viewed from earth, which one of these will look like the new moon. Well, the new moon is all black. It's all dark. So which one of these moons would be the one that from Earth would look all dark? Well, if we just look at this one, looking at it, this is half and half. So if I turn my paper around, I can see that this moon right here, when viewed from Earth, all we're seeing is the black side of the, the dark side of the moon. Okay? So that's, that's what we circle there. Now on the flap... To show the new moon, this is where we're going to color. And I told the kids, this is one that does not need to be colored wonderfully because we were kind of going for speed on this. So as long as you draw the outline so that we know where your color stops, that's what really mattered on this. So this one is a new moon. It's all colored in because we don't see any moon at this point. Okay, it's all dark. All right. Now the next one, uh, I told the kids to look at look at these circles really closely, and they told me that there were uh, arrows going around, and they're moving counterclockwise. On this outer circle, there's actually a word that says waxing, and down here it says waning, because those are the names that we're going to be using to name the phases of the moons. Okay. So from here, we go to the next one. This is going to be our next moon. I'm going to draw our lines to show from Earth, this is what I see. And if I turn it and look at it, I see that most of it's going to be dark, but there's going to be a little sliver of light on this side. So when I color my moon, most of it is dark, but there's a sliver of light. So I'm only going to color in most of it. So if I look, compare the two, now this was all dark. This one, the light is starting to come up. Okay. Now I asked the kids, what do you call that? Well, they looked at this ring on the outside and they said, well, it's in the waxing section. So we go, we, we call it waxing. 
And most of the kids knew that this shape was called a crescent. Crescent, so it's called the waxing crescent moon. And again, we talk about the light part, not the dark part. I compared this to the uh, DreamWorks uh, Pictures logo with little kids sitting on the end of it fishing because that's what that looks that's what it is it's the waxing crescent moon the next one is this circle here we draw our view from earth and it appears to be half and half so I draw a line down the middle and it shows that the left half is dark and that kind of goes with these the whole thing's dark the left side is dark, left half is dark. There we go. We had talked about this one in class the other day, so the kids knew what this one was called. It appears that half of the moon that we see is light. But how much of the moon do we ever actually see? We can't see the whole moon because it's a sphere. So we only see half of it. This is half of a half, which is called a quarter. So this is the first quarter moon. Because from the new moon, it's the first time we have a quarter. Move on to the next moon. We're going to circle the next moon. We're going to turn it and draw our little lines to show our view. And now it appears that we have more white, more bright light than darkness. So now we have kind of that same crescent, but now the crescent is dark. So again, if I compare them, I've got no light, a little bit of light, half light, mostly light. It's progressing. We're still waxing, meaning we're still growing the light. But now we got this funky word here. A couple kids in every class knew what this was, which I was very, very, very excited that they uh, kind of knew this. It took me years to figure out how to say it correctly. Um, it's a gibbous moon. Waxing gibbous. And I looked up the word gibbous. Gibbous means... Uh, to uh, be uh, convex, to be um, like a hump or a humpback. So to have more of something, more illumination. So that's what that is, more illumination than half, but not quite full. We move on to the next moon. We circle it, draw our view. And when I'm drawing my view, I see that it's going to be all light. Well... There it is. <laughs> I don't have to color on that one. I like that one. That one's fun. Or easy, I guess. And most of the kids already knew this one was called the full moon. Now, technically, it would be called the second quarter moon. Uh, because now we've gotten the second quarter of it is, is good to go. But we call it the full moon because that's what we see. Okay, turn it around, draw my view. I see now I've got mostly light again, but a little bit of darkness. But now I see that the darkness is actually on the right side of the moon. So when I color it in, the dark crescent is now on the right instead of the left where it was the last time I colored it. Now I asked the kids, um, what... How much of the moon do we have lit up here? And they said, again, it was, it was more than half. So it was that gibbous word again. Uh, only now, what side of the circle are we on? We're on the waning part. So that would be a waning gibbous. Now we compared a couple different things. We looked at this and we said, well, if we pr pull these two flaps down, we see that the new moon and the full moon, they're kind of exact opposites of each other. One's all dark, one's all light. Then we pulled down the waxing crescent and the waning gibbous, 
And they were opposites of each other, which was kind of neat. This one's mostly dark, little light. Mostly light, little dark. Then somebody said, well, let's compare the two gibbous moons and see what they look like. Oh, look, they're opposites too. They look like they're flipped. So the, the dark part is a crescent over here on the right. Over here, it's over on the left. So with all that knowledge, we went to our next moon. We drew the view, and we see that it's half and half again. This time, the light half is on the right, or the left, I'm sorry. It's on the left. So if we pull these down to kind of help us, we know these are supposed to be opposites. So it's this one. There we go. Now, if this was first quarter, this is also a quarter. We kind of said that this was going to be our second quarter. So this must be the third quarter. Then we have the last one. Circle it. Put the view. Look at your view and say, okay, well, most of it's dark. There's a little bit of light over on the left. So most of it's dark. But we always name the moon based on the light part of it. So we know that the bottom down here, we're waning, which waning means to lose or leave, to go away. So we're still waning. The light is waning away. But now it's a crescent shape again. So this is called the waning crescent. And if we compare this and this, the, the waxing gibbous and the waning crescent, we can see they're opposites of each other, inverse of each other. And then the kids wanted to check these out, waxing crescent, waning crescent. And they're the opposite. They're on the opposite sides from each other. Now, we're going to have a quiz on this um, at some point. Um, I'm told the kids probably Friday. When we uh, do the quiz on this, I asked them, I said, so think like a teacher. A teacher probably won't put quiz questions on. They know all the kids know. So which of these two, which two moons on here do you think everybody already knows? And they all said new moon and full moon. And I said, yeah, that'd be pretty easy. So we're probably going to skip that. I told them that we'd probably have one of the questions would be on the first quarter or third quarter. And one would be on, one, on these four. So I'll have two questions where I'll give them this picture plus the picture of the moon next to it and say, please circle which of the moons is the third quarter and draw in the moon to represent that. So they'll have to be able to circle that, say that's third quarter, and this is what it looks like. So please study with your students. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.